And I love a cold house, but that's just me. <laughs> a lot of people probably don't like waking up to a cold house, right? You got to turn the heat on, get things moving, put on a coffee. You know who likes the cold house? Who likes the people who pay the heating bill? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Because the last couple mornings we've been in the 30s, so yeah. I know your heat has been turning. Take a look out toward the Golden One Center right now. Here's a live look. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Last couple days have been pretty nice as well. Yesterday we soared up to 67. What's in store for today? Take a look. Another cold start. This morning we had the thir uh, 30s. Tomorrow morning you'll have the 30s. Saturday morning you'll have the 30s. Sunday morning you're going to have the 30s. <laughs> yeah, they're not going anywhere. Dry pattern continues in the forecast, at least through the weekend, and then we'll be looking at what could be a few changes. Breezy winds in the forecast. We just talked about that with your first weather segment. That's going to be for parts of the, uh, the higher terrain in the upper foothills, as well as for the Sierra, and that's Friday and Saturday. And a tale of two models. What type of models? Are these cover models? Are these super models? No, these are weather models. We'll take a look at what each one is saying and how that could be impacting our forecast for your holiday week. Here's a look at what we have right now. 65 in Fairfield, 61 in Sacramento, 60 degrees in Stockton. Let's get to the hills. I got 63 coming in for Auburn, 63 in San Andreas, 59 coming in for Grass Valley, 34 in Truckee. So just a little bit freezing there and 46 coming in for South Lake Tahoe. So we're starting off the day relatively nice. We will end the day very nice. Plenty of sun sunshine, seasonal afternoon highs, mid 60s coming in for the valley floor, lower 60s hitting us through foothills. I got do have 58 in Grass Valley, about 10 degrees cooler in Truckee with 48 degrees. So here is a look, a little sneak peek at the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, expecting lower 60s for the valley floor, just in case you have plans. Get to the foothills, I got 60 for Saturday, 61 coming in for Sunday, and then we take a look at the Sierra. They still got a lot of fresh snowfall up there, 40 for Saturday, 47 coming in Sunday, and for the Bay Area, the mid 60s. So today Today's nice. Tomorrow's nice. We get to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Now I'm going to be moving in order. Let's get to Monday and Tuesday, and that's when a few changes could be coming in. Huge high pressure system still dominating our weather. Huge dome of high pressure still dominating our weather. Persistent, stubborn, doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> well, things are going to be changing. Storm system out to the west will finally start to make its way here. But remember, there's a big dome of high pressure here. This one model is showing that most of the rain and snow associated with that system out to the west is going to go up and over us, up and over that high pressure system, right? So remember I said a tale of two models. That's the first one. Well, what is the second one saying? Well, the second one looks like it might start to get on board with the first one. Take a look at this. This is Tuesday morning. It's now pushing everything a little to the north. Now, earlier this morning, it had rainfall coming in through uh, the Central Valley. It even had snow showers. But the latest model run is showing those two weather models are starting to get on the same page. So what does that mean for us? That means that chance of showers that I have in there on Tuesday, that means I'm going to take out that chance of showers that you see on there for Tuesday. Oh. That means we got a really good chance, unfortunately, John, of more dry weather next week. Uh, with more temperatures in the 60s, but still pretty cold overnight. Okay, Tracy, thank you.